Now this is a really cool terrain idea. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. We have a very exciting, I, I know I say that every time, this one's actually really exciting. Uh, we have a pre-production prototype from Acid House Terrain for their ups, upcoming Kickstarter where they're doing a really cool terrain set. And I say really cool and I say, hey, this is neat, but it really is. They've put a lot of thought and effort into this project from their promotion video on the Kickstarter itself to just all the little details that really go into something like this that you would literally ask them questions about if they hadn't already done it, but they have and they have it all laid out and it's just, it's, it's wonderful. And when you see the level of detail in here, I was very impressed with it. And I can't tell you the last time I was impressed with the level of detail and thought and development a company actually put into something coming out. I mean, yeah, you can sketch and you can, you can develop all these, these figures and they look great and you do a really good job with that, but that's pretty standard. That's what we expect. But when you see something on this, this scale and they literally sent their prototype from their video over here, we have the exact thing that I'm going to show you that's in uh, their, Kickstarter video, there's only one made, they're incredibly expensive to make, and they aren't even happy with this. And they told me everything that's wrong with it. And they're like, we figured it out. It's the, this is all the stuff that's wrong. We're gonna fix it for the production run. And I'm like, this is amazing. Like I have never in the history of ever gotten all this information up front. They literally sketched me schematics of how to put everything together. They don't have it done yet, but they sketched it for me so I can assemble it all. Although I think it's pre pretty easy judging by the videos, but I appreciate it. <laughs> so I am really, I, I don't know much about this and obviously it's a Kickstarter and at the end of the day, there's certain terms and conditions when it comes to Kickstarters. They really, you know, don't have to even put out a product as we've seen in the past, but the companies that actually do the legwork, do the effort, bring the value to the table and fulfill these Kickstarters, those are the companies that go on to be giants in this industry. Like we've seen them in the past. The, you know, I could I could sit here and name an hour's worth of, of companies that you, you all get stuff from every day and they all started on Kickstarter and they're amazing. And I think judging by what I see here, they Acid House Terrain definitely has that same potential. So this is a look at their uh, private preview for their upcoming Kickstarter that they're gonna be launching. Now, I don't wanna show a bunch of amounts and, and different things like that, cause all that's subject to change. But I think for the most part, what they are projecting uh, for their early bird and what they're projecting to actually get this project funded is reasonable. And I personally have pretty good confidence that they're going to succeed in this. There is, there does seem to be a bit of a need out there or a demand rather for this type of terrain. We saw Malifaux do it. We saw Drop Zone Commander do it. We've seen other folks do it. Um, and they've, they've met with moderate success and you know, there's never been a reprint of the product. I don't think like it's been a kind of a one and done type deal. So Acid House is definitely aiming to kind of mainstream this sort of thing. And like I said, they've done a lot of research. So I'm not going to show you the video that they put together because it is amazing. And y'all really need to check it out over on their Kickstarter page when it launches. It's way better than anything we could do here. And I don't know, I don't know how they did it, but uh, I'm very impressed by it personally. So we'll, we'll get into some of the still shots and some of the stuff they're going to show you. Now this, this box of terrain is basically, they say it's enough for a four by four table and it makes, you know, two, um, two foot by roughly, uh, I think it's a 32 inch, it's like 80 centimeters kind of type um, uh, divisions. So you can do your kill teams, you can do your infinities, you can do your skirmish stuff, and there's gonna be lots of terrain. But for the four foot version, the four by four table, you know, that's not gonna support something like Warhammer 40K. But that's where it kind of doesn't matter because you could spread out the terrain more. Now we don't know what the rules are going to be for ninth edition. We don't know. We know there's going to be different table sizes for different point games. So, judging by Sigmar, there will be a four x four table size in 40k going forward, depending on your points. But we're not there yet. We don't know all that stuff yet. Probably by the time the Kickstarter launches, we'll see that. All I'm saying is, if you have a PVC or a mouse pad type mat 
you could just roll it out and use the same terrain that just pops together to lay out everything onto your table, pick it all up, roll up your mat, which is a totally separate thing from this Kickstarter, put it away, and boom, you have your living room, you have your bedroom back again, right? So let's take a, a close look at kind of some of the stuff on the Kickstarter. They have bridges, they have gantry ways, they have little pylons. Um, I kind of wish I had taken a screenshot of all the pieces laid out, but that's okay. We'll um, we'll try to do what we can once we get it back to the uh, the game table in the back and actually put it together and assemble it. So here is a list of everything you get: uh, all the buildings, the tanks, ventilation shafts, joints. Um, and, oh, there it is, right there. So cool. So they do have that picture in here. There's little barricades. Those are those uh, little, kind of little Twix bars in the front there. Mm, Twix bars. And then here is everything all laid out. It it picks up. It everything stores in the box it's it's just it just makes sense it's so crazy it just makes sense right um it's kind of crazy and then here it is all laid out in the four by four another configuration at a 45 degree angle which the board tiles on the bottom flip so you can you know kind of play it left and right top and down or you can play it at kind of at a 45 the breakup line of sights and things whatever you want to do it's pretty neat so it's designed to endure it's actually very heavy uh, material thick card that's actually coated to prevent um, with some sort of laminate I believe to prevent damage from liquids they literally pour liquid on the card and then wipe it away and like nothing's wrong with it. it's crazy like when, once you start thinking about it these uh, little drinks right here I think in the video said they weighed uh, 1.5 kilograms which is like 3.3 pounds ish so that's kind of crazy too that the little gantry ways just supported those so I mean in theory they're very, very strong. Uh, here's a picture of the water on the material. And then they got some really great videos of the uh, assembly. It just basically pops together. Very similar to what you've seen in the Infinity uh, starter sets that have come out over the years. Uh, very, very neat stuff. And then, hey, why back now? So um, there's gonna be some different pledge levels. There's gonna be some early birds to jump in and snag it a little bit cheaper than the normal stuff. But overall, I think um, this project it looks very very good from what I've seen so far so let's jump in to the actual prototype copy that I have here on our paint desk I want to open it up I want to show you kind of under the camera so to speak before we go into uh, the hobby room and put it together and show you just exactly what all you can make with this kit so here is the ginormous box of terrain. Now this weighs 12 pounds but they said uh, that they actually uh, there wasn't some sort of prototyping issue that they weren't happy with. And this is actually supposed to weigh about 12, 20% uh, less. So it's probably gonna get under 10 pounds. They also didn't like the sleeve. Um, there was a mix from the prototyping place of ink printed and laser printed and the ink print stuff looks like poop. And this looks does not look up to specifications. It's supposed to be um, a much nicer kind of a, a sleeve, like a plastic type sleeve with very saturated kind of looking images. And they also didn't put the um, layout, you know, that we saw in the Kickstarter, you know, image right here. So they were a little disappointed with that too. But I mean, even that stuff aside, it doesn't look like this is, this doesn't look bad, right guys? Like, I feel like this doesn't look bad. Like, I get what's in here. That's cool. Like, I appreciate that, but it's, it's the attention to detail uh, kind of stuff like that. Now going through, now I'm gonna get this open here in a second, probably not gonna do it on camera. But they also mentioned that the, because of the difference between laser and ink printing, that some of the graphics were a little bit more muted and not the way they liked it on some of the stuff on the inside. And there was some issues with the card not being as thick as it should have been. So they kind of, um, you know, engineered it themselves so they could make that great looking video that I kind of showed you in the preview there. So there's a lot of stuff to kind of talk about here that really realistically like it would be it would not be stuff that I would kind of pick apart at this in, in something like this. But the fact that they have gone through their own project and picked it apart themselves so that they know for production that it won't happen is like I said, I really, really dig in this attention to detail. Once we slide that sleeve off and get this open here and not hit the light as best we can, you're gonna notice a lot of things. Like they actually wrote me notes about um, some of the stuff and it is, some of it is assembled, right? Because this is exactly how you're gonna put it away after you get this. You know, you're gonna set it up, you're gonna get the stuff, you know, all, all ready to go and it's all gonna be kind of organized. And then when you wanna play, you just pop it out and pop it all together. So this isn't unlike 
what's going to happen in the future or what it will look like when you get this and you actually play with it which is really cool to see and then they you know like i said they left me a bunch of notes in here about like things that they didn't like color wise um things that like the the concentration of the cardboard like these are okay because these are the correct thickness which is really neat to see and it's got this uh, this really nice um kind of uh i really like these instructions on the side i don't know why the schematics but um the the colors and the layering on it or i guess the uh, laminate is pretty good here's those gantry ways this is the real deal they actually made these so they would work and be engineered because they're about a quarter to uh, a quarter of what they should have been to actually hold up the weight in the in the video so just going through you know they're like we don't like this green this green has too much yellow in it it should be more like this green right here they literally went through and picked apart their project and that to me speaks volumes like i don't care about any of it from there like just the fact that they are this detail oriented and they want it to be such a good success they're that hard on themselves really means a lot to me personally because like i said done a lot of kickstarters reviewed a lot of stuff spoken with a lot of people and i've never seen anything on this scale before i can't make the video with you up here don't wait down security patrol Okay, so we have everything laid out and the amount of components you get in here is definitely mighty for sure. There you can see the boards and uh, the little um, inserts to lock them all together, which I really like. I don't like that whole clip system and stuff we've seen in the past. There is the train box that it all comes in and that you can store everything in and you can see, yep, it's pretty big itself too. Now, I'm not sure how much of this is gonna come through in the camera, but they left me a bunch of notes. Uh, about what they liked and didn't like about their product like you can kind of see in this that this is looking a little blue um, as opposed to something like this which is more of a true color and uh, more of the depth and the saturation that they were looking for in their graphics so they went through and they talked about a lot of that now just looking at it I still have no idea how this stuff goes together but I'm gonna find out really really fast um, because first of all, you can tell that just looking at it, you don't have to have be any sort of familiar with this at all. It's all color coded like Garanimals from the 80s and it also is numbered. So purple, 96, purple, 96. I imagine these have something to do with each other. And then it all kind of goes together from there, 85, 85, the red stuff over there, the barricades are all together. And then they put together a prototype uh, one of these gantries that is the correct thickness that they engineered and that you know these other ones are about 25% uh, uh, of the thickness and stuff that it should have been so this is a great prototype to you know this is what a lot of folks should do on Kickstarter is get a prototype figure it all out before you know it's funded and then you're like oh crap now all the stuff is wrong knowing the stuff that's wrong ahead of time and being able to give that feedback uh, on the main production after it, the campaign is done really means a lot to me. And like I said, I'm very impressed by this level of detail. So speaking of detail, uh, let's read some instructions or some schematics and figure out how to put all this together. So in less than five minutes, I basically became an assembly expert here. It's super simple to put these together. Just literally pop it up and then press the folds down and right here where these arrows are it's super easy you just kind of uh, dip that down into where the folds are going to be and once you do that it goes all the way down and then you have your painted roof or your uh, not painted but your illustrated roof and it's super strong a lot of stuff will fit in here i actually have a bottle of water and uh, that definitely holds just fine just like in the videos as a matter of fact <laughs> i like doing this too so I spilled a little bit of water, oh no, or booze, or liquor, or whatever. It's super easy to clean up. It doesn't even go right in and, well, it smears out a little bit if your cloth doesn't, your towel doesn't actually pick it up. But other than that, everything is good to go. So let's take a closer look. I put some of uh, the buildings and stuff together. We didn't do a whole big assembly because it is a lot. And I know, yes, it won't take that long to do, but getting all this together it took a little bit extra time than I thought it would be. So we've got some test buildings all set up here, super easy to put together. They have the super strong uh, one reinforced, like it's actually supposed to be designed. A uh, bridge right here, and I actually didn't try that. like, oh, I guess I see why. Because you couldn't put that down in there like that. But then, let's see if it'll stay just like, oh, it does, look at that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a lot of pressure down on that right there so and the potential to have a little water spill everywhere but other than that I think this stuff is great uh, it's super snap to put together it looks sharp everything kind of uh, works you've got barricades that look good over top of uh, the little duders like we got some deathcore doing deathcore stuff and then up here they're you know behind the buildings edge and you can combine smaller buildings bigger buildings to kind of do um, some different you know kind of feel like if you want to go higher you can definitely well if my guys weren't in there you could definitely do that as well and you can see in the middle we've got more Tarion too that oh, I think there's a smaller one too where is it oh there it is right there that is looking fresh and super large and in charge in the middle of, believe it or not, that model is kind of heavy and it's on a big resin base and it's super supported right there. You don't see any wobbles or anything like that. And they've got the larger stacks, um, some smaller ones right here. And they have uh, some uh, even smaller things like I showed you right here, like these. Uh, then they've got these ones that go on the gantries and there is a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of gantries. So if you're in an Ecromondo, you're in, Two different things like that you're going to be able to set up quite a few of these it looks like there's six nope that looks like there's eight <laughs> those are too thin they already said those aren't supposed to be that thin so they're redoing them and making sure they're right uh, when the uh, production actually happens on all this and one other thing i want to show you there's two different types of tiles on the on the base here so this one there's about four different ones give or take and everything locks together with these little um we'll call them kind of socket they look like basically manhole covers now they weren't too happy with the way these uh, got cut because the way they do prototyping, it doesn't, they don't use the big machine cutters to cut this. So there's a little bit of a tolerancing issue and, it, and they kind of flip up. So they weren't too happy about that, but they do go together pretty easily. But like I said, there is a little bit of a noticeable gap right there, which is unfortunate, but they've already said, hey, uh, on the production, that will be all squared away. So there's this tile here, which can go left, right, you know, front, back, east, west, north, south. And then they've got these futuristic ones here that I assembled two of them. And you won't accidentally put them together because there isn't the appropriate socket right there. So you'll know if you messed up because that socket's up there and that socket's up there. Those two sides are not supposed to go together. So they've got that, and this one kind of plays at like a 45 uh, type degree angle, which would look, you know, great too. And then you've got your normal north, south, east, west over here. So overall, I think, you know, we didn't put, there's quite a bit of other uh, buildings and things over here that we didn't get together, but, you know, there is a ton. This is just the stuff, like a couple of each I put together, and it's already a ridiculous amount of terrain on here. Imagine this whole thing full. You can literally use it on a four by six table for some games like larger games like Warhammer and stuff like that. Or you can use it on a small table for some smaller uh, kind of skirmish type games. So I feel like there, it does, it might seem that you don't get enough terrain in the box for a four by six, but I think you do. You just might not get enough tiles. So you would have to kind of have a rollout mat sort of thing if you're trying to play on a four by six table. But four by four and everything smaller, I think this is 100% uh, great and super, super well done um, job on that. So let's get back into the studio and make sure we didn't miss anything and head on out of here. So that is about all I can show you for this new project that's coming soon to Kickstarter. Uh, I am even more stoked getting in on the table, playing around with it, having fun with it. Uh, it's semi, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, it's definitely water resistant. For sure, I don't know what the final product is, but having that, you know, modular ability, resistance to harm, it's just it's just a really neat, very well thought out product that I feel like we haven't seen anything quite like that in a very long time uh, from any major manufacturer, and definitely not from somebody over on Kickstarter. So. I think it's worth a look. Uh, check it out if you need some dope terrain for your tables from anywhere from near future combat to of course Warham's uh, 40K, you know, ninth edition. It might be cool to have that modular ability. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm definitely sold on this Kickstarter itself for sure. So jump over to, I'm sure we'll have some links once they're available and this, this uh, project is 100% public. Um, in that so you can check it out, but I can't say enough good things I love the attention to detail and I think 
this is poised to do a lot of good things uh, for the hobby. So make sure you check it out. Uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our future videos.